Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I just had this epiphany, this psychological paradigm shift, just literally just today. Remember the native lore video? when I talked about an infinite forest of oak trees? Well, I just had a realization. There's a separate thing from dimensions that are similar yet different timelines. Turns out, if you use black marker around the figurative orange to symbolize the timeline, it doesn't have to be a black marker. It could be a red, it could be a blue, it could be any variation. And as far as I know, dimensions are established every Googleplex of a second. Yet timelines are established at an undisclosed point in time. Turns out, it doesn't have to be an oak tree, because some of the trees are birch, some of them are redwoods, some of them are very um, small variations of trees. Some of them are just grass, which just so you know, a palm tree isn't a tree, but a kind of grass. And, you know, like how there could be different kinds of hands with different kinds of fingers and a different number of fingers. Like, what kind of shake? Cake. Chocolate. What kind of chocolate? Light. The fact that there could be different layers on the same reality. Now that just blows my mind, to be honest. It's quite the paradigm shift, and it might be complicated at first, but luckily they are more regulated than the infinite realities. Because as far as I know, they're not infinite through cosmic impulse, like dimensions. They were created by personal choice. And here's another thing that I've created in my Leviathan universe. After knowing that there's quite a few instances where some of my characters and creations seem OP, turns out there's finally a regulation, an entity known as the Omni Nullifier, which comes at once every millennia or so. That if, from now on, if the Leviathan universe is getting too intense, too much intensity, and less stability, the Omni Nullifier would be able to dissipate the intensity for the sake of stability. And that could include depowering heroes and villains. Like, if you were born a deity from day one, you would be unaffected. But if you used to be a normal person, and you become an entity, chances are you would be back into a normal person. And Cosmic, she didn't create the infinite dimensions. She just added to them. Like, she's not the creator of the multiversal, the universal dimensions. She's basically just the master of them. Which means, since she used to be human, that means that she would have never had in charge of the, all the different dimensions. And there could be a different person who might become cosmic, depending on the butterfly effect. Like, from what I've heard, during World War time, time told, sorry, during World War I, there was an instance where a British soldier had the chance to kill Hitler when he was still a soldier, and before any of that stuff happened, but he chose not to. What if there was a timeline where he did choose it? Because, turns out, if you replace a bad thing, there might be something better or worse, but still alternate affecting the exact same timeline. It's like different kinds of sports balls. It could be a baseball, it could be a basketball, it could be a soccer ball, it could be a volleyball. They're just different kinds of objects in terms of the sport. You know? Different kinds of buildings. It could be a skyscraper, it could be a hut. Different variations. And I, to be honest, have been getting carried away with the intensity of my creations. So 
I finally have a relief, a regulation, so that way it wouldn't seem like too much. You know, from now on, the Omni Nullifier would be able to dissipate or regulate like different aspects so that way everything would have more self-control. For example, the All Creatures Project. I've heard rumors that some animals wouldn't be able to coexist very well compared to other animals, which I thought was a bad rap and such. But turns out the Omni Nullifier would regulate that stuff. Like, different... Like, each individual reality has its own timeline. And a timeline could be of a different color, a different pattern, a different thickness, a different style as a whole. And it happens just whenever it just happens to happen. Whereas a dimension, it happens non-stop through impulse. You know, like this. That is actually quite the paradigm shift, I have to say. And just so you know, I had a decent uh, fat, a birthday dinner, me and my dad and my family. You guys probably seen the video. If not, it's okay. And um, I hope this video would be more intriguing for you guys, because I am just trying all that I can. And um, if you guys want... It's the time is nigh. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. If you have any more comments and questions, just type them down below, and I'll be able to answer those things in due time. I promise to make things work some way, somehow, because I made the Leviathan universe exist, and I have to do them that favor. Turns out, the event of different timelines being unique to different dimensions. They've always been active, it's just literally just today that they have been recognized. And that is called the butterfly emergence, derived from the butterfly effect. You know, like, go back in time, make one change, the present and future would be different as a whole. Like the movie uh, Sound of Thunder, where people go back in time, a man steps on a butterfly that's native, and it changes the present and future to the point where it's unrecognizable. Uh, it's food for thought. Sorry if I got carried away. I just don't want to screw anything up. So second mention, you know, you get the drill. I hope you guys have the fine rest of the month and such. And I hope that San Diego would help boost this podcast in terms of social recognition. Just, you know how it is. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month, and until next time, in transmission.